Hi there everybody, this is Heather with PrincipledAcademy.com. Today I'm here to share with you about a planner that I have designed and I'm really excited about it. As you know, there are many planners on the market and I think it's great that there are so many varieties offered because people can relate to certain ways of thinking, organizing, and planning. The Planning It Outright Homeschool planners are unique in several ways and I think they will bless many families. On the inside cover is a yearly calendar which gives you an overview of the dates for this school year. And during the school year I know that I hit some tough spots. If you have been homeschooling for any amount of time I'm fairly certain you can relate. So I've created a page to serve as a reminder of my educational focus. I chose to use a chart from page 47 of the NOAA Plan Self-Directed Study Guide. And this chart breaks down the um, two historic methods of education. Um, they branch off of different world views. One is the Hebrew mindset and one is the Greek mindset of education. And um, since my focus is to teach and learn biblically, we want to focus on the Hebrew mindset in our homeschool. I also decided to add a word study for this school year. The uh, word that I chose for our school year is revere. And what I did was some research on the word revere, uh, Bible verses that talk about it, and then I ended up relating it to our homeschool. And this will help me to remember that whatever it is that we're studying or, or doing in any area of our life or education, that I want myself and my children to be revering God in those things. As a part of this spread, I also have a section where I can jot down my philosophy of education. And I obviously don't have it written down here yet, but the tool that I used to develop that was the NOAA Plan Self-Directed Study. And this helped me to research scripture and the definitions of words found in scripture pertaining to education, which helped me to define a biblical um, definition of education. There is also a place where I can write down the reference for personal verses that pertain to me for our homeschool. And I also have a list of ways that I stay encouraged during the school year. So if I end up needing a break and I need to refresh myself um, just in different ways about why it is that I'm homeschooling, then I can turn to this list and begin those action steps. I also have a section that talks about my character. Just because I'm homeschooling my kids and discipling them does not mean that I have it all down and figured out and that I'm some perfect person. So when I feel discouraged, I find it important to be able to focus on the strengths that I bring to our homeschool. These are areas that God has gifted me in and this will help me for sure when I'm feeling discouraged. And I know that I have areas for personal growth and this is where I will write those down. Um, there is also a page toward the back of this planner that corresponds with this and I'll share more about that with you guys when we get to that part. And then our family, probably like most families out there, have a limited budget for education. So there are some needs that we end up having each school year and I can write down those needs and pray in those resources and opportunities. God is much greater than our circumstances and he always provides. The key is to pray about it and to trust his timing to meet those needs for our family. Okay, also I have a productivity map this is for a life of home and education. And it's broken up into different zones, as you can see. What I did was I paid attention to my high, medium, and low areas of energy throughout the day. And the 
red zones are areas where I have my peak energy and focus levels. So um, this is where I will do things like lesson planning or teaching most of the subjects, maybe PE, maybe developing products for you guys and marketing them. Uh, the orange zone, that's probably where I'll do things like grading lessons and organizing or preparing meals and working on the mini planning and grocery shopping. In the yellow zones, I could do things like setting up field trips, planning out my day or tasks, read aloud, ta read aloud time for lessons, chores, budgeting, paying bills, or spending time with friends and family. And then the green zone um, is where my energy levels tend to kind of drop for a bit. And I can go on nature walks with my family, maybe do some arts or crafts or hobby work, getting ready for bed. Um, maybe that'll be our family read aloud time before bed and our Bible study as a family and board games, things like that. So this really helps me to be productive and to prioritize things according to my energy levels. And if things in life shift um, to where I need to alter my sleep schedule, that will affect my energy levels throughout the day. And I have another map, productivity map, that I could fill out that will help me use as a reference for areas in the planner that we're going to be coming up to later on. Um, you'll see how this ties in with that. There is also an interactive outline. I can check things off as I fill the pages in the planner throughout the school year, and it also helps me to easily find where to locate what I'm looking for. Next are some forms regarding the curriculum being used by each child. This is where I also like to write out specific areas of prayer for each child. I can refer to this throughout the school year and um, watch my kids grow, have those uh, needs met for them. Oh, let's see. And then I also have this form where I can keep track of the character goals for each child, the Bible principles that we'll be focusing on with their tailored education, as well as their academic goals. Included in this is a way to track the self-government tickets that I give out to the kids throughout the school year. Um, if you're not familiar with what self-government tickets are, just follow the link in this blog post and it will take you to the, um, the post that talks about these. And you can also download the self-government tickets for free and print them out so you can utilize them in your homeschool if you so wish to. I also have an area where I can jot down notes about what it is that I notice that they're improving on and I can let them know that I'm proud of them for working on those areas. I can also write down things that I see um, that they need to strive for and then talk with them about that at our family meetings. So next is the weekly routine goals. This is what I'm striving for in our homeschool throughout the whole school year, um, but by no means does it mean that I'll be able to stick with this order because things come up and sometimes I have to shift these subjects around. But this is ultimately what I'm striving for just because I know the rhythm of my family and what tends to um, be learned the best in a certain order. Then we have the monthly calendar. Uh, there's a section for notes and it's really important to me to have an area where I can focus on how the Lord is blessing us this month. Everybody has ups and downs and I think it's really key for for me to be able to basically count my blessings and we serve a living God, so He is actively involved in our lives, and it's important to me to be aware of those things and to be thankful for them. 
I have an area for notes and special dates such as birthdays and anniversaries or whatever else may come up. There is also a page for doodle notes. I'm really visual so it's important to me to have an area where I can jot down things that will have some visual doodles tied into them. And there's also a page where I can mind map. Um, if I have ideas or concepts that I need to figure out, this is the place where I can do it. After that is the weekly routine that will actually be followed for this month. And I fill this out toward the beginning of the month because by then I pretty much have an idea of the general flow for that month. I can also record memorable moments or kid sayings, prayer requests or exercise goals that I have. Okay, so here is where the heat mapping ties in. Um, I have a weekly action plan for each month and this is something that will help me keep my focus going for the major projects that I have to complete for this week. I also have a section where I have scheduled events and activities that I can look at um, just, just to glance at for this week. And then in order to help me complete my goals for the major projects that I have going on or the events and activities, I can heat map according to my energy what would be best for me to do. This helps me prioritize it. What, what goals do I have or what things do I need to complete to reach these goals and which ones can I do with my peak energy, my, my energy that when it's dropped or the mid-range places. And it's the same for emergent tasks that come up. Um, sometimes there'll be something with uh, friends or family that will pop up and I can best determine how to prioritize that by what's going on in my day and then how much energy I may need or focus I may need to be able to help them out the way that they need me to. And of course if there's an emergency I don't bother with that but um, along with the rest of this spread um, I can jot down commitments that I have to family or church or co-op. I can fill out my menu plan for um, all of our meals and I have it numbered so that I can make sure I hit each day of the week that I need and I could choose to circle a day to assign these meals to or I could be more flexible and not even bother with that aspect. I like having the option of both. Okay, at the end of each month is a section for secret blessings. This helps me to keep track of how I'm discipling my children with blessing other people in secret. Um, and uh, if you're unaware of this, then you could visit the link, follow the link in this blog post about secret blessings. Um, Songbird is taking over the production of the, the Pass the Button pillows. And she would be so excited if she had some customers. Um, her Pass the Button pillows can be found at our store. And she will be selling those along with the Bible study about secret blessings. So if that appeals to you uh, to utilize within your family, then please visit the store and, and bless Songbird by purchasing these. Next we have the record keeping section and this is where we record um, everything throughout the school year that needs to be documented. Um, we're actively and diligently keeping track this way. First up is the attendance calendar for the academic year. There is a legend that you can utilize and all of the months are listed on here for the typical school year running from August through May. There is also a reading log that um, we use. It's broken up into three different sections. Um, these are books that I read out loud for history or literature. Uh, sometimes the older kids will take turns reading the chapters out loud so that they can practice that as well. And um, then the middle column 
is where they would read books quietly to themselves. They can write down the title and the author here. And then the far right column is for the book club, book titles that we discuss. And they can circle whether it's fiction, biography, autobiography, or they can initial another genre that they may be reading. Next up is the field trip tracker. And this is designed so that there's one for each month. Um, I can jot down what the related subjects are, if there are any. There's room for the leading idea, theme, or Bible principle that I want to tie into the field trip. I can write down the activities or projects that the kids are doing and books that relate to the topic or subject. And then I just document where the field trip takes place. And there's also monthly progress reports. Um, this one is for myself. I need to keep track of the areas that I have room for growth in and um, I can document the fruit of my efforts for following scripture and walking in the Lord's ways. This is really important for me. I need to become what I want my children to be. And um, this helps me to be intentional about, about letting the Lord change me in those areas that I need to change in. And there's also a space where I can write down resources that I have on hand to serve and bless others and maybe community service opportunities that the Lord is calling me to serve in at that time. The monthly progress reports for my kids covers the academics for each quarter and the social and emotional development, work habits, um, living it out, living the walk out by serving others, blessing others, and community service. And then also for um, other categories, perhaps it'll be swimming or karate or fencing or basketball. It just depends on their individual interests, right? And I decided to consolidate this along with the grading scale. Um, for the primary school years, I can just jot down if there's slow progress, steady progress, or excellent progress. And then for the middle and high school years, I'll just grade each quarter. And this is um, based on the no plan uh, curriculum progress reports. There is also a page for tracking the monthly budget and uh, this will help me be diligent in my responsibility of you know, paying the bills and everything. And then sometimes we hit bumps in the road and we need to figure out well, how else could we bring in some money to help out with this month. Um, I think we all know that life can sometimes turn into one big story problem. So I can go ahead and jot down what gifts, talents, interests, and skills that I have to help earn money. Um, what resources do I have on hand to use? What services or items could I swap for a need? How can I put back, or cut back, excuse me, cut back expenses, or what can I wait for in order to help? Maybe what can I sell? And so I can write these things down, but if I need more of a visual aid, I can also use a mind mapping sheet for that particular month that needs attention for extra income. There is also a spread for curriculum needs. I, you know, what do I need? What can I buy used? What can I sell? What can I borrow? What do I own? Or what do I need to purchase new? And then to the right of that is the curriculum budget and I can just fill in the subject or class that my kid needs and jot down the titles um, per grade and the, the cost of that. So that's a helpful tool to have as well. Lastly is a page for our year in review and this is where I can place a family photo from this school year and I can also journal 
our favorite things that took place during this school year. Uh, the front and back covers are laminated. The very back cover is sturdier than the front and it's bound nicely. This planner can be purchased either as an ebook and you can have it bound or compile it in a three ring binder or you can order it bound through Principal Academy store. You can visit my store at the link in this blog post for pricing. I hope that this appeals to you and is something that will bless you in your homeschool and life in general. Um, this is the teacher edition. The student editions are being developed and will be up for sale soon. Thanks so much for following me on this tour of the Planet Outright Homeschool Planner. Bye-bye. Um,